Hello and welcome to Be a Tier the German Engineer. Today we are back with episode 6 of our newest Let's Play series and this is of course Oxygen not included. Last time around we built a Supreme Draco farm up here in the top right corner and today we have a lot left to do. So let's just jump right into it and see how that works out for us. And here we are. So, Chamster just finished his uh, last research and that was the metal refinery as well as the metal tile. So let's take a look what we need next. And I already have something in mind down here in a liquid where we at right here. Liquid tuning, that's it. We need the radiant liquid pipe as well as the thermal aqua tuner and all those sensors here definitely don't hurt either. The liquid tepidizer, probably not needed anytime soon, but doesn't hurt to have it. So let's get this here done right away. Up here in the top right, right above our Draco farm, I can see we have a cool steam vent. Yeah, I actually just discovered it. I was utterly unaware of it, not going to lie about it. And it is currently dormant, so we need to get going with this here right away so we can actually get this here in before it becomes active again. When an event like this is dormant, it is usually the best time to go for it because you don't have to worry about anything. So that's exactly what we are going to do. So we're going to grab this insulated tile right here and we just bring it all the way up here. Bring it all the way over to there and we're gonna leave probably three open spaces right here or two doesn't matter you know what let's make it three we should have more than enough space here and then we're gonna come down let's take a look here probably uh, seven tiles eight tiles because we are not going to use the water yet it's gonna be complete overkill but i just want to accumulate a bunch of water right here until we have actually the means to use it so you know what let's make it nine tiles there we go so we got we need two more tiles coming down here just like this there we go and with this one here we're going to come straight down as well then we're going to come further down one and there we go this is where we're going to put our pump all right this here is what needs to be built to get there we of course need a ladder and i'm just going to bring the ladder one space away up all the way and build a fire pole right beside it to speed up the entire process and for that to work of course we will also need a tile right here because i'm going to dig it out left and right one extra tile for increased airflow. Uh, right, that should get the job done. Just this here definitely needs a number nine priority. That has to happen. I don't want to let all this chlorine here out. So let's get started on that. While our dupes are over here digging, I tore out this wall here because we don't need it right now. We're going to put that in later. We use this here to actually dig out all these tiles. But over here on the left side, yes, we have here the gas pump as well as the gas filter and all this kind of stuff. I said earlier in the last episode, I believe it was, that I'm going to leave it here. Well, plans change every once in a while because we won't need it anymore, at least not in this location. I'm going to leave the gas pipe as well as the power wire, but everything else has to go. And the reason for that is this area right here. I want to see what's in here. And there's a second reason. When we take a look at our map, let me pause the game real quick so nothing crazy happens. We don't know exactly where we are. If I zoom all the way out, we could be anywhere. I have no idea where we are. So let's dig up a little bit and see if we are maybe close to space. Because right here, no, that's bleach stone. I thought for a second that could be something else. But whatever, it's fine. We're going to dig up and we will see where we are. And if we don't get to anywhere very soon, maybe right around here, then we will try the other direction, which is down here on the bottom. And we will see if we can dig down and see if we can maybe find some oil because oil is going to be very, very important and we need to find it very quickly. But let's first go up and then go down in that particular order. Up here we are digging and our research is once again done. So let's take a look in liquids right here. We just finished liquid tuning and we're probably going to go down a little bit further in liquids because we have neither the salinator, which is probably bad on Oceania, and we also don't have an electrolyzer. We definitely want both of those. So let's get that done right away. And here we have this area here now unlocked and we have a neural vaccinator. All right, who are we going to put in there? Probably Chemster. Yes, Chemster. You are our guinea pig as usual. Let's put you in there and then let's see what happens. And Chemster is here and he's taking a seat and the vaccination is happening. Okay, let's see what we get out of it. Okay, Chemster is done. This duplicate has frankly impressive ability to hold their breath. Air consumption rate negative 50 grams per second. That is a very good thing for a spacefarer, which he is eventually going to be. Wonderful. That worked out just fine. All right, let's keep on building. We need to come with our ladder all the way up to here. And yeah, I still don't see space or anything. I'm slightly worried right now. Not going to lie about it, but we will figure it out. So let's keep on digging. Let's keep on destroying and let's keep on going all the way up. 
And here is Champster already analyzing the cool Steam vent, and I just realized I may have made a mistake here. Didn't I say I want to not release all of this chlorine right here? Well, apparently there's another hole. Well, it is what it is. At least we're going to get some coal out of it, if nothing else, which is okay. And right here, we are also making progress. And down here on the right, I'm just digging down. I'm just going to make here a little bit of a chlorine trap. Later on, we can pump that stuff out into space or somewhere because we will not have any more use for it, to the best of my knowledge. Jamster just finished analyzing our cool steam vent, so let's take a look. Next activity is in four cycles already. Okay, and we have an average flow of 1,442.8 grams per second, 4.2 kilograms per second at 110 degrees, and that erupt 330 seconds out of every 531. So I need to make sure that we get this here done within the next few cycles that is number one priority and therefore all concentration now goes into this cool steam vent right here nothing else matters right now i just want to get this here done okay so the entire thing is now finally built and our cool steam vent has 1.1 cycles left and i put in here temp shift plates the problem with the temp shift plates is that i don't have enough materials we have on the left here sandstone we have copper ore, and we have a couple made out of diamond yeah that is all we have it is not optimal i don't even know where we got the diamond from i'm not even gonna lie where did we get diamond from but we had enough to build three temp shift plates out of diamond so we will see how that works out but right now we just need to get it built then put in the wall and be are fine down here on the bottom i build a liquid pump hooked it up to power well i didn't hook it up but at least it's ready to go as well as a pipe just like that should be fine for right now but first of all let's get those temp shift plates in and then let's close the wall off and there it is all the temp shift plates are in the cool steam vent is here and everything is ready to go from this point forward that is very very good and we still have 0.3 cycles to go that went just as planned wonderful and now we can move on to the next project over here where our neural vaccinator is, we dug up and we actually found space. So now we know that we are relatively close to the top. That can only mean one thing. It's gotta be some long, long ways to get all the way down to find oil. That is suboptimal, but what can you do? So next on the list is this here. We will not need it anymore because this is now way too high. So therefore it can go. Just like this, we can literally get rid of it. And then we will keep on digging down. We have some hydrogen right here and of course a couple more Dracos, three more Dracos actually. And we will get all of those in. What do we have right here? Here we have another anti-entropy thermal nullifier. And it is a little bit in our way, but it should work out. Okay, we're just gonna go over here where we already are. And right here we're gonna keep on going down and see if we can find where the end is and what is down here. Alright, let's do that and then let's see what this down here looks like. Down here we made some progress but I had to stop our dupes right here. This is how far we can go because we have some water here and I don't want to drag this water all the way down. So we're going to take care of it properly right away. It shouldn't be that big a deal. We plop a liquid pump right here. Come with a liquid pipe just straight up here and I believe we still have some. Yes, right here. We just hook it up to there. Here I already snipped it so we can come over here. Here we're going to have a liquid bridge and right there a liquid vent. Back into our reservoir where all this stuff belongs and just like that. We're going to plop that in. Then in F2, we will also need a power wire. We already have it all the way down to here. So we just have a tiny little bit extra to build. So let's do that right away as well. Now all the water is gone, which means, of course, we can deconstruct the stuff here again. I'm going to leave the rest here for right now. We can always get rid of it later. But we just saw how handy it can come when we just leave it for a little bit longer every once in a while. So let's dig down here and let's get all this stuff here out. And we will also go ahead and grab us those Dracos here while we're at it. So let's wrangle this one, wrangle this one, and let's wrangle this one here as well while we are at it. All right, that should be good. And we will see where we go from there. First of all, we need to discover what's here, and I can see hydrogen and salt, so there's probably somewhere another water geyser, better to say another salt water geyser down here. Still no oil in sight. Yeah, now we made it all the way down here, and I still don't see anywhere any evidence of oil in any way, shape, or form. That is not good, so we need to keep on digging. We have a couple of our poke shells right here, but other than that, we have a bunch of salt water, so I'm probably just going to create a basin of salt water somewhere over here. That should be fine, but we need to get further down quickly. That is the number one agenda, so let's keep on digging straight for right now. Well, not that far. We just need to get to the bottom of the salt water to right there. That should be fine, and then we will see what we can do with all this water that needs to happen first 
Over here on the left side, I built us another lavatory and another sink, and I'm getting rid of all this here because we don't need it anymore. With our dupes, we're still using the old outhouses, so yeah, that is definitely not gonna fly. We're gonna use lavatories, and we're gonna use them in beautiful, beautiful bathrooms. Yes, that is right. That should give us a, a little bit of a boost to our morale, at least. So that is going to be great. But next on the list is two things that I want to do. First of all, we have all this polluted water right here. I mean, yes, of course, we could just pump it over here and use it as we use everything else. But at the same time, that is not going to work for me. What I want to do is I want to actually use it to create thimble reeds. And this here could be the perfect environment. So let's take a look at that. Up here on the top, we have those thimble reeds, and I want to dig them all up so we can plant them somewhere else. And that is exactly what we're going to do. So let's get all of these here up. We should be able to reach everything here. Yes, there should be a wonderful path through it. And then down here, we have a lot of deconstruction to do because the pressure is so high anyway that it does not matter. We don't need those deodorizers anymore. They serve no more purpose. So we're going to get rid of them just like that. Also, this power wire right here, this power wire right there. And then we can also get rid of this deodorizer as well as this airflow tile. Don't need any of it anymore. We are fine in that department. And as soon as that is done right here, I'm just going to build hydroponic farms. But you will see what that looks like in a second. Here everything is now deconstructed, so let's see what we can do. First of all, a liquid pump that goes one level lower than everything else, just so we can reach everything, that is fine. And then we're gonna go into food and grab us some hydroponic farms. And the hydroponic farms, we're just gonna plop them all along here. Something just like that, for example. Then with a liquid pipe, which is going to come literally all the way up to here and all the way through. That will be perfectly fine. It is nice and hot in here, but it is also a carbon dioxide environment, which is the two things that we need for simple reads. And all of our hydroponic farms are now built, so let's take a look. We're going to copy the settings from this one and copy to all the others. And we already have one thimble reed here. And why does this here work so wonderfully? Let's take a look over here on the right. We need an atmosphere of carbon dioxide. Check, we definitely have that. We have a body temperature of 22 to 37 degrees. We are 29.2, smack dab in the middle. Literally couldn't be much better than that. And ambient radiation is, of course, also exactly as it should be, close to zero. And then on top of that, we have 160 kilo grams of water per cycle so we literally just going to take all this water here and make simple reads out of it it's going to be literally that simple we just grab the stuff as much as we can and put them into storage for later usage that is it that's all we need down here on the bottom, we made it down even further, but once again, I see nothing. I see no oil at all. I don't know how far how much further do we have to go. My god. But on the bright side, we have something else right here. Wonder, wonder, what could that be? And it is a, wow, that is actually very surprising. It's a cobalt volcano. And what do we have over here on the left? An aluminum volcano. We have cobalt and aluminum right here. Okay, so those are absolute game changers. I expected to see more saltwater geysers, but we got cobalt and aluminum. Oh my goodness, that is perfect. Okay, all right, let's calm down <laughs> and let's keep on digging. Since we already have saltwater down here, we don't have to build a basin right here. We can just keep on digging straight through into the abyssalite, something like this here. Well, actually, I'm not going to go quite as far. I'm going to stop right around here just to see and then this here needs to be a basin because right here uh, clearly the biome changes and we will need to see what there is we see diamond i think we are getting close so let's keep on digging and let's see what we can find down there right here in the middle we have this nice empty space that i really don't know what to do with other than one thing i'm going to build us a critter killer because we definitely need one. Well, it's literally that simple. We need one. We have too many critters coming in and we need to take care of those critters. See all those critters here running around? That is not good. Especially that we have a stone hatch right here. That is worst case scenario. Okay, I kind of forgot about you guys. Sorry. You need to, of course, come over here and that's where you're going to live. You already have copper in there. That's fine. Okay, so let's take care of that. But everything that is in excess, we need to kill and get some meat out of it. So let's get that done right away. First of all, of course, I want to deconstruct this here. And as soon as this is deconstructed, then we get building. Meanwhile, down here on the bottom, we have actually found the oil biome. It is all the way down here. Okay, how far is that away? Oh my goodness. Okay, when we think that our base basically ends right here, it's a long, long ways to get all the way to there. That is suboptimal. We definitely need to find a good way to get down here, and that will involve a bunch of atmosuits. Okay, what else do we have here? We have more neutronium. What is hidden behind here? Let's take a peek, and it is a water geyser. Okay, cool. But up here, yes, we have deconstructed what we need to deconstruct. Very, very good. 
So let's get started with our critter killer. The first thing that we need is a nomadic door. So let's see where we can put it. We need one space on this side. So we're going to put it two away. Yes, something like this here. And um, let's see. It is a total of nine tiles high, I believe. Let's see. Um, we're going to go. If we leave an extra four tiles right here, right there. Okay, that's where we're going to put it. Just like right here. Then we need airflow tiles on the left three and on the right three and then insulated tiles one two three four as well there we go and the floor on the bottom that's all that's needed for right now well i may as well put in the mechanized airlocks as well as the mesh tiles right above it so this here is going to be the basic layout for our critter killer and that should work out just fine for us but first we need to get it built there's also a couple extra things that we need so let's take a look into research and come all the way down here to automation because what we need are buffer gates as well as filter gates so let's get that research and as soon as we have all that we should have all the ingredients needed to make this here work but our Draco farm up here, we have a little bit of an emergency going on. Our mealwood is not growing anymore, so our Dracos will be very unhappy very soon. Right at the moment, they still have enough to eat, but eventually that will become an issue. So we may as well take care of it right now. This is just going to be a temporary solution because that's what we have. So that's what we are going to use. We have our water right here. And this water, because it's just sitting here most of the time, is relatively warm. But it is still below 30 degrees most of the time. If this here would be continuously flowing, it would be a hell of a lot better because our water down here is at what 22 degrees so that is what we're going to use in our f6 overlay we can see that we have water right here so we're just going to come out going to come all the way up to here all the way around and then maybe right around here we're going to come in just like this and then we're going to start with a radiant liquid pipe and we have to build it out of gold because that's all we have right now and we're going to build it as long as we can through this entire thing right here and then maybe can we already come all the way back again yeah, we barely made it, but that is fine. And then with a normal pipe, we're just going to come straight back all the way out of here and put a liquid vent right there. And if we take a look right here, if we drip the water down, we are ending up back in our basin. That is temporary, as I said, but it will be needed or we are going to run into trouble here very, very soon. So let's get that built as well. Our critter killer device right here is now completed, so we are now ready to roll to actually build all this stuff. There's only one thing missing because the research is done as well, and that is we need to get us a little bit more refined material in. And we basically have no more copper ore. Now that is uh, suboptimal to say the least. What about iron? Iron, we have 44 tons. There we go. So let's get us, um, let's say maybe 10 makes, uh, well, kind of hard to say. Let's say 20 of them. 20 of them should be enough for everything that we need. Okay, so let's get building. We need, first of all, a critter sensor. And the critter sensor lives right there. Then we need buffer gates. Bunches of buffer gates. Three, to be precise. One lives right here. One lives right there. And another one goes right down here on the bottom. And this is this way around. Then we need automation wires. And I don't think we can put all of that in. No, we cannot. Well, we need to first get our iron. Then we will finish this year up. And now we have gotten a bunch of iron in, so let's finish this here up. First of all, in automation, I almost forgot a knot gate. That is highly important. That belongs right here. And then with automation wires, we can plop a one right here. And then we need to branch off right here and come then down all the way to right there. And then from this buffer gate here on the right, we want to go to the top door. We want to go with this buffer gate here to the middle door. And with this one, we hook it straight up to the wire, just like that. We can also already set up what our gate should be in the right overlay, please. There we go. This buffer gate here on the top should be set up to 20 seconds. The buffer gate on the right should be set up to six seconds. If I can actually select it, there we go, six seconds. And the one on the bottom should be set up to three seconds. And what we do here, you will see in a second. I also made a full explainer video about this build. If you're interested, you can find it now in the top right. Let's take a look, let's get it built, and then let's put in some water. Water supply is going to be very easy right here. We can just come straight across here with a bridge and then right here we're going to build us a liquid vent. It's going to be that simple. We just fill it up and then we are ready to roll to use our system. That is great and it requires no power. Have I mentioned that before? I don't think I have. Keep that in mind. No power required. Just some refined metals and we thankfully have those. And here we have it. It is now full. We have not filled up our mesh tile completely. I need to snip it off. Come on. There we go. And that is it. That should be everything that we will ever need. Now we can deconstruct this stuff here. We don't need that anymore either. All right. Now let's pick up all the stuff that you're throwing around here, dupes. There we go. And now it is completely ready to roll. So how does it work? 
Let's take a look. We have over here our hatches and we have in here eight hatches and we have it set to auto wrangle surplus. At least we should be auto wrangle surplus. We want to have eight in here and up here we're going to have smooth hatches as soon as we get some. And then in here, you see all those hatches running around? Yeah, that is something that we don't want. And that's why I left this one extra space right here. Because in food, we are going to grab us another critter drop off and drop it into here. As soon as we have that, we can say auto wrangle everything that's in here. And they will be automatically distributed then. There we go. And the critter drop off is here. We're going to say all of them. And we're going to say a max of zero and auto wrangle the surplus. There we go. That should be it. Now the dupe should come and auto wrangle all those critters in here. We say Eric over here. Eric is already calling one over. There we go. And he's wrangling at that particular one right there. And what is he doing with it? He's coming all the way down and puts it into here. Now, Eric, you should not be standing around here. That's probably a bad idea. But we can now set this critter sensor here. I set it currently to above two. And I think that's fine. We're probably going to do even more. Let's say above four. Because we do have a couple more up here. So let's get them all in there. And then we will see how it works fully automatic without any input from me at all. Meanwhile, down here on the bottom, we have all the salt water and I need to get rid of all of it. And that is going to take a long time because it is so, so much. My goodness, ah, we basically have to shift an entire ocean. All right. But what choice do we have? There is no other space for it to go down here. I literally don't know what to do with it. So we're going to put it up here somewhere. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an airflow tile and I'm going to put the airflow tiles right here. Yeah, all the way through, all the way to maybe right there. Maybe. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, that's OK. Then coming all all the way over to maybe right around here and then back up to where we started where did we start right here then what we need is ladders ladders we're gonna plop in here on the top all along and then of course on each side all the way down as well something like this here that should work and why are we using airflow tiles because airflow tiles do not break due to pressure and it's gonna be a, a lot of salt water so we definitely don't want to have it break it so let's get all this here dug out tubes that is the number one priority. We need to get it done if we like it or not. Meanwhile, up here, our Draco farm. Oh, look at this. Our mealwood is back in action. And we have a Draclet right here as well. How many do we have in here now? A total of seven. Look at that. Yes, that is very good. And what is the percentage for a glossy Draclet egg? 45%. Do we maybe already have one? Let's take a look here. We already have a glossy dracolet egg. Yes, put it in here right away, dupes. Get it done. We need to get the glossy dracos in as soon as we can and get us some plastic. Wonderful. And of course, on this side over here, I don't want to send it to dracos. No, we do not want more dracos over here. This here is solely for our glossy dracos. That is going to be good. It's just a question of time. And my goodness, our critter killer is already at work. I didn't even realize it. All right, let's take a look in the automation overlay. Yes, we are here and we are closed. And as soon as the first one dies, we will open back up. So let's watch that happening. Shouldn't take that long. They just drown in here. So there we go. Since it's all the same species, they all die at the same time. And when we then take another look, now we're open back up. And that is what our buffer is for. Because Drekos, for example, die a lot, lot slower than, for example, here our hatches do. That's why we have that extra buffer up here on the top. Once again, if you want to know more about it, I explained the entire thing in a separate video. So if that is something you're interested in, feel free to check it out in the card on the top right. Okay, so I just realized to build this here is going to take literally forever. Reason being is that our dupes just cannot breathe down here. That is, of course, problematic. So it is time to get in some Atmos suits. Let's get that done right away. We don't have a choice. It has to happen one way or another. So let's take a look into our base. We need to build. How are we going to do this? And where are we going to do this? We may just do it right above it, as a matter of fact. Maybe somewhere like right here should work, right? Yeah. I don't see a problem with that. There we go. We're just going to plop in a nice floor. Maybe this long here should be OK. Then we're going to stations, grab us a Atmos suit checkpoint and plop it right here. Something like this. There we go. And then we're going to plop a bunch of Atmos suit dogs. Not right there. Come on. There we go. That's more like it. Maybe five of them. Another one. Really? Ah, what am I doing? What am I actually doing today? There we go. That's more like it. And then more insulated tiles right above it. Something just like this here. Uh, yeah, actually, this here we don't need because right here we're going to plop in a ladder 
and on the other side we plop in a fire pole. And then as soon as this here is built, we will restrict the access to our dupes. They have to come down here, over to the right, down here and back over to the left. It's a little bit of a longer way, but it works. I have built it before. If you have watched my last Let's Play, then you have seen the exact same setup, just that we went the other direction. We went from the bottom and we wanted to go up. This time we come from the top and we want to go down. So let's make sure that this here is getting done right away. Slowly but steadily, this here is taking shape, so that's going to be good, but we of course need oxygen and power for it, so let's plop that in next. And that is probably the last thing that we are going to do for today. So, first of all, in ventilation, there we are, we need a gas pump. And the gas pump can't just live somewhere up here. Where do we have space? We could just plop it into there. Yeah, why wouldn't we? Yeah, that should work. And we also need a gas filter just to make sure we want nothing but oxygen. There we go. We're going to plop this in. We're going to plop this in. We're going to come over to here. And then with this here, I don't care. We can just come over to here and put a gas vent in for all I care. That should be perfectly fine. And then we're going to come all along down our ladder over here. And then we're going to come down all along right here as well. And from here, we literally just going to put it down all the way into each and every one of them. There we go. That should work. So that is taken care of. But next on the list is, of course, power. Let me take a look at this power wire here. It already has a potential load of 1400 watts. So that is not going to fly. What is actually hooked up to this wire right here? Everything. OK, everything may be a little bit too much. So we're going to grab us a large power transformer and we don't have refined metals. Why not? Oh, Luma's already on the job. Okay, so we can put in another power transformer that can power the bottom portion of our base and we leave the top portion of our base to this one right here. All right, that should be fine. No problem at all. We have made quite a lot of progress, but before we take a look at the progress, how about we see if we can bring on another dupe? So let's take a peek. We have a Nicola on the left with building plus seven, grease monkey increased machinery and handy increased construction cannot do doctoring errands. That is a really good dupe, as a matter of fact. Only one interest, not optimal, but not bad either. What about Ellie right here? Suit wearing, ranching and supplying. Increase the core and cannot do doctoring errands. Even that is a really good dupe, I'm not gonna lie. That is definitely something that we can work with. And then Ruby on the right. Researching, operating and building. Increase cuisine and shabby dresser. Yeah, I don't know, Nicola or Ellie? I mean, Nicola only has one interest, though. I think that Ellie is probably a better dupe. Overall, a lot lower in the actual values, but I think it will be very helpful in the long run. So yeah, we are going to bring on Ellie. But Ellie is, of course, not going to stay Ellie. Ellie is going to be Digi D or Diggy D. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but regardless, Digi D, and that's how I'm going to say it from now on is my newest level two engineer yes a wonderful new member thank you very much for your support i really really appreciate it and welcome to the game and now as promised we're taking a look at our progress we have here our atmosuit dogs they are ready yes take a look at it we have power coming in still a little bit high on the potential load but other than that we are looking pretty decent we also have three atmosuits in here, three more are missing. And we of course also have in F7 our gas coming in. We are supplying oxygen as much as possible. It will take a while until it is full, but we are getting there. And then you're wondering probably what are with all those airflow tiles right here on the left? Well, while I was at it, I saw all those plants sitting around here. Might as well put in another nature reserve, I thought. Yes, that is number three that we put in and it will be in the pathway of all the dupes that are passing through here, which should help a little bit with moral as well as with stress. That is great. That is what that should look like. As soon as we have the oxygen in here, all I need to do is deconstruct those three ladders right here and those three fire poles and we will be golden. But why don't we get in more suits? What's going on over here? Atmos suit, because we don't have any iron. Ah, yeah, yeah, that is of course a problem. Let's make us another 20. Ah, God, we really, really need to get in those hatches over here, those smooth hatches. But we will get there. Until then, we unfortunately have to go the inefficient route. I really didn't plan on having this rock crusher here that long, but it is what it is for right now. It works. Right here on the top, I'm putting in a second gas pipe just to speed up the process a tiny little bit. It is taking way, way too long, in my opinion, that we are getting gas down there. So for right now, we're going to put in a second one and that should be fine then. It takes a little bit more power, but that is also okay. We have more than enough coal sitting around. 
All right, here we have it. And now when we take a look into our F7 overlay, it should look a hell of a lot better already. Yes, so we are getting much bigger packets in at once. What is going on here, though? What is all this stuff right here? Okay, so we need to do something else as well. Right here in our F7 overlay, we're going to grab us a gas pipe. And instead of plopping it right here, we're going to go further down. Something like this here. That should be fine. That should solve that problem once and for all. And down here on the bottom, yes, all the Atmo suits are in. All this here has been dug out. And let's take a look. We have just the first salt water coming up. Yes, with the Atmo suits, everything goes a hell of a lot faster. Isn't that crazy how that works? And we can see the first salt water is coming in. That was already a little bit here because there were a couple pockets. And down here on the bottom, all I have done is I put in two liquid pumps just like this. And they're pumping up salt water. And that is their entire purpose in life. So we have a total of 20 kilograms per second that are now leaving this area here. And hopefully we can pump this here out. As soon as this here is a little bit more empty, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to open this here up. Because while we are at it, we might might as well pump this left side here in as well because why wouldn't we so that is the general idea for down here and hopefully that goes faster than i anticipate because i anticipate it will take a while it's unfortunate but it is what it is nothing we can do about it currently the dupes are just cleaning up a little bit but other than that we are looking decent so let's do a quick recap of what we have accomplished today outside of this year of course up here, our little improvised symbol read farm is doing just fine. We are producing symbol reads, or better to say read fibers, so much that we literally don't know what to do with them. That is very good, and that is exactly as intended. Wonderful. That is great. That's how it should be. The cooling loop for our Dracos does exactly what it is supposed to do. We can see our temperature in here is pretty moderate right now. Even over here, it's doing fine. So this little bit of uh, radiant liquid piping right here actually cools this entire thing here down. And soon, yes, very soon, we should have our glossy Draclet egg. Magenta is here and currently ha hugging our first smooth hatchling egg as well. So that is very good. Smooth hatchlings are coming our way as well. Our critic killer, where you at critic killer? What do you, we have in here? Okay, we already have one Draclet in here which is of course suboptimal because if we have one in here that means we are producing too many uh which one is uh, the least amount done this one here is done 61 this one is 36 percent so this one here i'm actually going to say remove and let's see do we have anything better that we can put in here yes a glossy Draclet egg great that is what we're gonna smack in there right away and then stone hatches how many do we have of those right now eight so we already have too many of those as well. So let's get rid of that. And do we have a smooth hatchling egg? We do not. Well, so let's get us another glossy Draclet egg in here. Meanwhile, that is very, very good. But that is all I have for you today. So if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and comment down below. You know it. I'm always happy to hear from you. And with that, I say thank you and peace.